So could you start off by telling us your name? My name is Violet Klinger. I, my maiden name was Kratzer. K-R-A-T-Z-E-R, and I, I was born in Evendale, which is out Route 35, and then lived most of my life growing up in Mount Pleasant Mills. Okay. And I'm old enough that when I was born, I was born at home. No doubt. Mm -hmm. I guess that's <laughs> not too different with midwives yeah. these days, but uh, yeah. So what have you brought with you today? Okay, I, I brought some pictures that I I wanted to bring more, but especially the one of the Kratzer family. Peter Kratzer was a Civil War soldier, and he and his wife Susan had 16 children, 12 of which reached adulthood to, um, to go on and have families of their own. Uh, wait, the question was, talk about the other pictures. Yeah, you can talk about okay. them Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess my favorite one is, this is when Fremont Grammar School in Mount Pleasant Mills, and um, it just shows how the old schools were, and I was of the age that I got to go to a two-room two school. On the one side it was grades one, two, three, and on the other side it was grades one through four, no, four through six. And so that, that's probably the picture that, and um, then I brought just some, here's, here's a picture of our choir. It was the, um, the Lutheran Church in Mount Pleasant Mills. As you, from the blinking lights as you go down the hill into the town of Mount Pleasant Mills. And it just shows we wore choir robes. <laughs> I, I find that because um, kids don't wear choir robes anymore. And then I just brought some pictures of my family. This is a picture of us when we lived in Mount Pleasant Mills growing up. My, myself, my brother, and my sister. And we just... We're lucky to have a picture taken like that. Yeah. And then this was my grandfather, Harvey Kratzer, who died very early in life. And then this picture is unique because this is his two sons and daughter and his wife. And he's actually, my father is actually holding this picture in the picture oh, because, that's really, that's because really cool. it was it was a sad time for them. Mm -hmm. my, my dad, I think he was about seven mm -hmm. when he died, and he looks about seven there. So, but I, I think that's unique that he was holding this yeah. picture in that. So, so, who preserved these? Was it you? Was it your old, like other members of your family, or? Um, it was my parents, and then I have taken an active role in preserving them, and. Um, some of these pictures have been have just come down from other relatives who gave them to me. So what is the the main reason why you decided to bring all of these items to the harvest today? I just I just like history. When I went to college, I was a social studies major mm -hmm. and just have always been interested in history. And I have all these pictures at home, and I don't know what my kids are going to do with them. <laughs> I jokingly say they'll hire a dumpster and throw it all in, but um, I, that's jokingly. But I, they won't do that. But I don't know what they're going to do with them. So. I mean, we'll have them here. We can preserve them. We'll have your story. Um, right. And actually, did you say that you're in that big class picture? Could you point yes, out where you are in that am, big class picture? I'm, should I hold it up? Yeah. I'm right, <laughs> I'm right there. Okay. That's me. And I always can, I used, we, we made maps and one of my maps is in the wall too. And I used to be able to find my name on it, but I have forgotten. But That's really neat. <laughs> So our last question is just, how did you hear about the History Harvest today? Uh, it was in the newspaper, mm -hmm. in the Daily Item, 
And I just thought it was really interesting to to do this. And and I'm sorry I don't have. A, a, I want a better picture of that. Yeah. I really like that picture. Let's see. How old is that roughly? He was in the Civil War, mm -hmm. and I think he got married in. Civil War ended in 1865. We got married in, I think, 1866. And judging of the age of the, the people, I would say it's before the 19, before night. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting the date right. Before 1900. Okay. It's yeah. the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. um, cameras had just really come out and been a feature in the Civil War. And I think families just got together and uh, this this was the first picture that I know of that they had ever taken. Mm -hmm. Because there's no pictures before that because there were no cameras. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, your photos, and your stories. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for doing this. This is we got to preserve history because it's going to, well, I guess it's already passed, some of it hasn't.